So in today's video, we are going to look at mutually exclusive events. Now if A and B are two events of the same experiment, then the probability of A or B or both occurring, which is represented by probability of A union B, is given by the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now this is called the additive law of probability. This is called the additive law of probability. Now if A and B are mutually exclusive events, If A and B are mutually exclusive events, if A and B are mutually exclusive events, then A and B do not have anything in common. Better still, we can say that in any single trial, event A and event B cannot occur simultaneously. In that case, A intersection B is an empty set and the probability of A intersection B is equal to zero. Therefore, the additive law of probability reduces to probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Notice that in probability, the word or represents a union and the word end represents intersection. Therefore, the probability of a or B is the same as the probability of A union B. Now we can move ahead and solve a few examples. So for example 1, given that the probability of X is 0 0.35, probability of Y is 0 0.45, and the probability of X intersection Y is 0 0.20, Find i, the probability of x union y, and then i i, the probability of x union y, if x and y are mutually exclusive events. So this is a very simple problem. Let's solve this together. Now from the question, the probability of x is 0 0.35 probability of y is 0 0.45 and the probability of x intersection y is 0 0.20. Now we are asked to find i, the probability of x union y. So according to the additive law, the probability of x union y is equal to the probability of x plus the probability of y minus the probability of x intersection y. Now let's substitute the values of p of x, p of y, and then p of x intersection y into this equation. So we have 0 0.35 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 0.20. 0 0.35 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 0.20 gives 0 0.6. So we have the probability of x union y to be 0 0.6. Now let's solve for ii. Now we are told that x and y are mutually exclusive events. Now if x and y 
are mutually exclusive events then it means that the probability of x intersection y is zero therefore the probability of x union y is equal to probability of x plus the probability of y and that is equal to we have p of x to be 0 0.35 and then p of y to be 0 0.45 now when you add the two you have probability of x union y to be 0 0.8 so this is the probability of x union y when x and y are mutually exclusive events. Now let's move on to the second example. So for example 2, a first six-sided die is rolled once. What is the probability of obtaining a, an odd number, b, an even number greater than 2, and c, an odd number or even number greater than 2? So first of all, let's write down the sample space of tossing a six-sided die. So the sample space of tossing a six-sided die, we have set S equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and then 6. So this is the sample space. Now for A, we are going to find the probability of obtaining an odd number. So let the event of obtaining an odd number be A. Now set A comprises of elements 1, 3, and then 5. So these are the elements in set A. And the number of elements in set A is 3. Therefore, the probability that event A occurs is equal to the number of elements in event A divided by the number of elements in S. So that is 3 divided by 6. Don't forget that the number of elements in the sample space is 6. So 3 divided by 6 is equal to 1 over 2. So the probability that event A occurs is 1 over 2. Now let's solve for B. The probability that an even number greater than 2 occurs. So let's the event of obtaining an even number greater than 2 be B. So set B comprises of elements 4 and then 6. So the number of elements in B is 2. Therefore, the probability of event B occurring is equal to the number of elements in B divided by the number of elements in S. So that is going to be 2 divided by 6 which is equal to 1 over 3. So the probability that event B occurs is 1 over 3. Now let's move on to C. Now for C, we are going to find the probability of obtaining an odd number or even number greater than 2. So we said that A is the event of obtaining an odd number. So inside of set A, we have elements 1, 3, and then 5. 
and then we have the probability of event a occurring to be 1 over 2 b is the event of obtaining an even number greater than 2 and inside of set b we have elements 4 and 6 and the probability of event b occurring is 1 over 3 now we are going to find the probability that event a or b occurs notice here that the events a and b do not have any elements in common therefore events a and b are mutually exclusive events hence the probability of a intersection b is equal to zero now to find the probability that event a or b occurs that is given by the probability of a union b equals the probability of a plus the probability of b now we have the probability of a to be 1 over 2 probability of b to be 1 over 3 so we can add the two probability values the lcm between 2 and 3 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 3 times 1 is 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 3 plus 2 is 5 so we have 5 over 6 so the probability of event a or b occurring is 5 over 6 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye